Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to kick some alien ass in the No Shot Run where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty without shooting a single shot and or uh, using a single explosive. So far we've done quite well. It's time to uh, clean up some alien facilities. Today we're going to start uh, with the sabotage of Operation Stone Throne rather using Operation Stone uh, Throne in order to sabotage. We're not sabotaging our own operation. And let's uh, take a nice little team. No PsyOps, you should be uh, training and training only. We're going to take a couple of Rangers. We're going to take Scorch as our, uh, as our usual Templar. And we're going to take two of our beloved specialists that has worked quite well so far. Probably going to run into the Bursa Queen yet again. So let's get ready for that. Evert ha has a pretty nice uh, loadout. We're going to hand out uh, mine shields to everyone so that this nasty being cannot stun us and a few mimic beacons for good measure as well. Three beacons, four mind shields. That was uh, pretty much our kind of standard so far and it worked out nicely. So let's jump right into the mission. Kill the few enemies, play, plant the C4 and hopefully uh, kill the Berserker Queen as well. There is another equally concerning explanation of what an unknown enemy would be could be not the berserker queen it might be a gatekeeper if that's the case eh. well it has advantages if we kill it and recover its body we would uh, get our level three psi amps so that would actually be quite good but to my understanding with facilities you can never fully recover the bodies all of them are being blown to smithereens as you're yeah, blowing it up. Good. Moving up. Aggressively moving forward since we're only looking at nine enemies, if I recall correctly. At the beginning, most of the facilities are not very well protected. Good. First patrol is to our left. Hey, how about uh, just moving over here and taking a look what happened to that patrol? Apparently not much. It just went away. Fantastic. I heard stomp. That is a good sign that we're dealing with a sector pod. Quick feet here, moves up, I'm on the move. and we're switching sides. Dashing. Double time. Fast switch redo. Got it. Let's see what the pack is doing. It is moving in cover. Interesting. It is moving into cover. Okay, well, yeah, we can certainly get those down. You can hear, very much hear the storms of the sector pot in the background. Okay, let's take a look how we're going to deal with those enemies. We got one blade storm and another blade storm here. I think Evert, who uh, cannot miss, is better equipped to deal with the situation. I would really like to attack the codex then the codex will try to flee that way we're killing it and we're going to get an untouchable and implacable on top of it we're in their sight. there we go nice little hit I've got eyes on advent troops. No 
This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic readings. All right. Well, that already kind of suggests that there is a gatekeeper. There it is, in all of its glory. And we just triggered the entire map. In an attempt to make it yet more interesting, we just try to pull everything. Good job, Saiken. Alright, if I was to use combat protocol, that would already kill this guy. Okay, cool. Teamwork. Hmm, that is a fantastic option. Uh, let's explore that a bit further, shall we? Teamwork has no maximum... Uh, no maximum distance So might as well move in Good teamwork Starting afterwards Afterwards comet protocol Getting the trooper. There we go. Good. We could simply kill and then again. Yeah, we can't move again afterwards because in place of it only triggers once. I could start hitting this guy though. Yeah, let's think about that in a second. So far, no need to hurry. I do have a plan though, a good one, I think. which should take care of him. Only if it's minimum damage, it would not. Minimum damage it is. Fantastic, Saiken, good job. Yeah, the, using the Mimic Beacon here wouldn't be too bad. We don't like the idea of, of this guy exploding. So since we do have Fortress, this will be a kill plus some damage. All right, fantastic. Let's just parry. Time to kill the Viper. Good, and in terms of moving forward, next turn we can school mine, almost, if they come a little bit closer.
definitely can start to set up the shield bearer. I would like to place the Mimic Beacon sort of here. That motivates the Viper to move closer. And eventually will trigger Blade Storm. In the meantime, let's already start hitting the Eyeball. Luckily, we ignore a lot of its armor. Thanks to the chosen weapon. And luckily it is really bad with its uh, central eye beam. It deals a lot of damage, but it is way less accurate than you would think. Okay, so I got one. Wow, what is even happening? How they sell it. It's very difficult to miss a mimic beacon, let alone miss it twice. Heading to that location. All right, this might be a kill. Thanks, Comet Protocol. Straight up ignoring the armor. Wait a second. The gatekeepers are considered to be are considered to be mechanical beings. So yeah, okay. Alright, amplify the damage and starting to deal a bit damage. Carrying And the idea now would be to hopefully deal enough damage with our um, combat protocol to not be forced to go closer. Unfortunately, we're one damage short. But thanks to the kill here, we're untouchable, meaning if we're now moving up, we should be fine. Let's do this. Don't need to throw a mimic beacon. I think we got this. It'll kill itself. All right. We got Untouchable, and Untouchable saved the day, so... Divat just got his promotion. Well-deserved one, may I add. I hope it's worth it. Good, let's pull everybody over Location here. Confirmed. The fight was good. I mean, overall, the gatekeeper couldn't really do much. But there's still someone in here. A 
let's first of all group up. I don't like the split nature of our positioning here. We're ending. Is it clear? Good. Moving up with Debut. No one up there. Okay, cool. Roger that. Moving everyone else also up here. I'm all over it. Solid. Good. That kind of begs the question, what else is left? Are we missing a single tower? Uh, I'm going. No, that sounds more like a sectopod, to be honest. Yeah, the destruction here clearly indicates that it is a sectopod. Maybe start with Divert down here, and then we're school mining our way through the problem up here. Also prevents it from just exploding. Another school mine. These devices are really, really good. Like that's two uh, single uh, kills. Plus we got ourselves. 20 into. That's damn good. All right, move it down. Sectopod with its lightning field caused a lot of damage against us. But that's the nature of the engagement. I don't see really an option here. I'm going to use a mimic beacon. And we'll hope that he's not going to use his stupid lightning field. Down we go. And let's put the beacon like over here so that it moves towards the beacon. There we go. Armor still holding. If it takes a move, it will provoke two blade storms. good That's what I was hoping to get out of it good or not let's, get it. let's see if we can at least shut it down Ah, 
Nice, we could have even controlled it. What a beautiful hack. Alright, let's amplify the damage. And I will tear you apart. since the temper is immune, I didn't make it, through. it will not uh, take any damage from the explosion. Moving to designated coordinates. Quick feed waits for now. What's over there? And let's end the turn. It's still shut down. You will pay the price. Good, that should be a kill. It is. Luckily we're immune. And let us call a Sky Ranger about here. Requesting immediate evac! I wish we could ki keep the corpses because a gatekeeper would be pretty uh, would come in pretty handy. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Beat feet. No need to ask twice. We could upgrade Finally. our psi amps right away. Packing it in. Good. Let's go. get Let's go. everyone Get out, of out of here. I'm on my Fantastic. Way out. And that was the gatekeeper and the sector bot in the very same facility. No wonder it was officially uh, classified as very difficult. We're evening up the score. Pretty good. Beaver got his promotion and he's now officially the Reaper. Love it. We got a couple of colonels. That is good. In ruin, and, and we further delayed the Avatar Your progress. Will no doubt slow the aliens' progress towards the Avatar project. Avengers good. Let's take the supplies. For the Avatar project is still going. But we do have access to more facilities, so if push comes to shove, we can pretty much make sure that uh, that we reduce the clock even further. Negative trade removal continues. And... Let's upgrade some more of the bonds. All right, fantastic, good. So we got not enough I'm intel not to contact sure further regions, which means the only thing that we really can do is either a scan or take some alien alloys. Now well, we got a lot of alloys, to be honest. I'm not sure if we need that. Not sure if we need it. And eight days is a long time. I think we're better off scanning for Intel. If I'm entirely honest. Avenger plotting new course. Within, uh, with Intel, we can make contact and everything should be fine. We got this massive amount of supplies. Holy shit. And I'm wondering what we can do with it or should do with it. I mean, there's... I checked this a hundred times. There is nothing that we really could use now. Just for shits and giggles, let's get the blue screen protocol. Not that it will make a difference.
Um, in terms do, of items, do we get any more upgrades? Still, you don't have the sector corpses. So yeah, there are a few upgrades available, but none that will really help us. I mean, yeah, plasma rifles. We're not going to use them. Our work is proceeding as expected. Just out of curiosity, yeah, we don't have we don't have uh, the corpse Dr. of the Shen's gatekeeper. Too bad. My activities is starting to wear. Our actions have succeeded. Cool. So that allows us to increase armor research speed. That's really not much that we need at this point. So we could continue doing this here and reveal his location. Um, quid, pro, quid pro quo isn't bad. That essentially will give us additional intel because everything becomes much, much more affordable. That here is good. That is pretty good, to be honest. And ability points are the, uh, one of the things that we do not have a lot of yet. This here is probably helpful as well, but frankly, simply because we have a lot of uh, progress. Yeah, I don't need that. It's a great uh, resistance order, but we don't need that. This here isn't bad. And all of a sudden, no more dodge except that puny little dodge here so yeah by thinking about it let's do this here and let's give judge a chance together with i don't know the grenadier will plus four doesn't really make a lot of difference. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. I like the idea of having uh, reduced um, uh, Avatar Project Bar. That's never wrong. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Good, we got the Warlock weapon, cool. And let's get some intel. That is an important task, Commander. That is indeed good. And look at that, we got ourselves a new um, retaliation mission. Unfortunately, yet again, only things that we have already researched. I was hoping um, for a few sectors that come by, but that's not happening. We're too far in the actual campaign. Codex, Elite Spectre, Andromedon, Mutants, Berserkers, Chrysalids, and maybe... The chosen who knows could be the hunter he might be leading uh, that uh, retaliation mission uh, if he does it's gonna suck for us because i don't think that we could really defeat him soldier bonds together with halo not bad i like that idea Very good. So yeah, I, th I think we could do it. I'm just not sure if the Chosen shows up, how to deal with it. But I suppose we're good to go. Our team so far is pretty strong. I don't want to risk uh, the PsyOps now because I still want to get Null Lens and the training done. The faster we can get the training done, the faster we can open up the two slots because 
I'm even considering training two additional Psy operatives, not all the way up, but uh, to engage uh, the Chosen in his stronghold. My logic is the following. If we need to kill him, he has like 50 or 60 hit points. And he's completely immune to um, to any form of melee damage. Then the only thing that we need is a Templar that keeps him busy. Check. And uh, then we need a lot of damage dealers. Uh, Soulfire is, depending on how, what our Psy ampli uh, Amplifier is, is four to six points of damage. Can be a little bit more, of course, later. Um, but that's very moderate damage if you have 60 hit points and there is on top of it um, a cooldown uh, to it. So I don't know if insanity works on him. Uh, clearly, I don't. I wouldn't want to use the AOE abilities because that should go to the sarcophagus, which kind of brings us into a difficult um, uh, spot where the fight against him would be long and drawn out, and he continues to regenerate uh, whilst we are. Um, trying to nuke him down with only two psi operatives and it feels much more um, doable to have four psi operatives just nuking the living hell out of him and then getting the um, the sarcophagus down i was even considering to maybe let him be and just be in the last mission but i cannot um, imagine how how bad it would be to have this guy just running around in the last mission and then I'm forced to kill him and he just continues to regenerate. I wouldn't want to do that either. So yeah, it's probably going down the route of additional Psyops. Anyways, guys, brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing, leave a comment and like the video. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.